Hello dear friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Paulina and here on my channel I talk about fragrances. And in today's video I'm going to be talking about the new releases of 2021. I'm going to continue our talk about the new launches of this year. This year was very rich in new launches. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about two niche perfumes and eight designer brands. I would like to start with a niche fragrance rockstar by the house of Carner Barcelona. I tested this couple of times. The notes listed here are very interesting. In the top notes um, are listed sea salt, mandarin, bergamot. In the middle lily of the valley, mineral notes, jasmine, seagrass and orange flower. In the base, amber gris, white musk and cedar. For me, it is a very typical standard citrusy fragrance. I didn't find anything special about the sea notes or mineral notes here. I suppose because of the name Rockstar, you can understand it in two ways, like a Rockstar musician or Rockstar in a sense of the creature that lives in the sea. It has to have the sea aspect in the fragrance notes. If I'm honest, I didn't find anything special about the sea or mineral notes here in the fragrance. For me it is quite um, a trivial, quite boring citrusy fragrance, probably because of the weather right now. It's autumn, it's quite cold, so this fragrance is supposed to be a summer fragrance. Probably this fragrance will be different in a hot summer weather, so I'm going to test it next summer. Another fragrance that I was quite surprised of is called Quantum Molecule by the niche Danish perfume house Zarko Perfume. Quantum Molecule. Uh, I didn't find the exact fragrance notes that are listed here, but I can't detect some citrusy notes, probably some woody notes, also musk. This fragrance surprised me very much because I was always very skeptical about the molecular fragrances, but this one caught my attention, so I tried this one on my skin and on the paper. For me, it is a fragrance of our future. It, is, it has this futuristic aspect in it. I imagine some spaceship or some white huge hall where people are dressed in a futuristic designer clothes, something like that. It has also some aspect of the library in this fragrance. So I think this one is a perfect fragrance for the office. Unfortunately, the longevity of this one wasn't quite pleasant, but also because of the weather, it's, it is quite cold, it is a very um, light and delicate fragrance, probably in a summer hot weather it will be different. But because of the design of the bottle, because of this futuristic undertone going on in this fragrance, I was quite intrigued by this one. If you have the opportunity, try this one. It is an interesting fragrance. Let's uh, move to the designer brands. I would like to start by L'Interdit Rouge by the house of Givenchy. The notes listed here in the top notes read orange, ginger, the middle notes tuberose, Pimento leaf. Pimento is a kind of pepper, I suppose. Jasmine. And the base, sandal, patchouli, vetiver. Many people in Fragranti can know that this fragrance resembles some uh, wine notes. I can't detect any wine here. For me, this is a very thick winter, kind of spicy perfume. It has some medical, some hospital undertone in it. 
I didn't find it quite attractive, appealing to me because it has this thick medical undertone going on in this one. I wasn't attracted by the original Lintardi. Lintardi in French means forbidden. Probably the people who love the original Lintardi will appreciate this flanker as well. This wasn't quite my taste. I tested it many times on the paper and on my skin. Not my story. Very intensive, smoky, with a medical undertone in it. Another flanker and new release of 2021 is the Voce Viva Intensa by the house of Valentino. The face of the advertisement campaign is Lady Gaga again. So the notes listed in this one are a little bit different to the original one. The top notes are mandarin, bergamot, middle notes jasmine and orange flower, and the base vanilla and moss. So quite typical notes for typical fragrance. When I first spritzed it, I thought, hmm, this is quite pleasant. This is much better than the original Voce Viva. The opening was quite pleasant for me. I thought mm, this is something different and indeed something more intense and more and louder, intenser, intense. But then in the dry down I also could detect something medical in it, some medical, herbal, hospital undertone going on here. Also very thick, spicy fragrance and in my opinion something very average. It smells like you know some average perfume and you can't really detect something special in it so I wasn't quite intrigued by this one. It is an average perfume with average typical fragrance notes but very very loud and intense. Voce Viva in Italian means um, life voice, living voice, you can translate in this way. Another flanker and launch of 2021 is My Way Intense by the house of Armani. This fragrance is dedicated to tuberose, so the appreciators of this fragrance note will love this fragrance and indeed it is very loud, very intensive, very, it's, it, it is an overwhelming perfume. Because the note of tuberose is not my favorite fragrance note, I can't really appreciate this fragrance. For me it is just too much, it is, the whole room uh, smells of tuberose because of this uh, fragrance. I don't want to insult anybody who loves this fragrance because the fragrance is actually very very uh, well done, it is well balanced, it is very long lasting, projection is just great, but not my taste at all. Another flanker of this year is the Alien Goddess. I've got a very interesting beautiful advertisement. So this is the flanker of the Alien. Um, the creators of this perfume are Natalie Lorson and Marie Salamanche, very famous perfume makers, female perfume makers. So this is Alien Goddess. The notes listed here are uh, in the top notes coconut milk, bergamot, in the middle jasmine and heliotrope and in the base vanilla and cashmere. It, it has to be some similarity with the original Angel. I have this small tester in it. And whereas the original Alien is a really fragrance dedicated to Jasmine, this one, although the Jasmine is listed here, I can more detect 
this coconutty undertone here and also I wouldn't say that I smell that I detect jasmine here for me it is more it goes more in the direction of ylang ylang tra or um, some exotic creamy flowers maybe this is just a combination of the coconut milk and heliotrope but um, I would say that alien goddess and the original alien they are aliens from completely different planets I don't think that the flanker resembles very much the original one and but I was quite surprised with the alien goddess because I wasn't expecting anything from this flanker. In the opening you can detect um, a very dominant coconut note and then in the dry down you can really detect some flowers. I couldn't really understand what flowers uh, I, can, I can smell but um, it has a very dominant floral aspect in it in the dry down so but I think overall this coconutty undertone here makes this fragrance cheaper than it is it's it's not it's not very elegant or if, it's not a very elegant or delicate fragrance in my opinion it is this typical coconutty exotic Mm, touch in it which makes it in my opinion a bit boring but I know this fragrance has many appreciators so please don't be insulted by my opinion another flanker from the house of Mugler this is the Angel Nova Eau de Toilette Angel Nova Eau de Parfum was released last year. The launch of 2021 was the Eau de Toilette ver version. What are the notes listed here? They're quite different to the original Angel that was released in 1992 and is already a legendary um, fragrance. In the top notes, lychee, bergamot, in the middle, rose and magnolia and in the base cedar and musk for me i'm not i'm not appreciator of the house of mugler i don't like the original angel i don't like any of the flankers so this one it has it is very sweet for my taste it is like a cacophony of the notes of the fragrance notes in my opinion it is just random notes put together to to project sweetness and sourness in the same time I didn't like it at all please uh, don't be insulted if you prefer this fragrance I know Angel has millions of the appreciators and it is and the original uh, the original angel it is a quite quite a unique fragrance first of the gourmandi fragrances first in this direction first of its kind well i think the new one the eau de toilette version is quite different even to the eau de parfum version there are some similarities but I, if i compare the Eau de Parfum version is more elegant to my nose and kind of more smoother. This one is very edgy. Mm, it's not, in my opinion, it's not well balanced. It's not, it's not well rounded. It's just edgy, kind of sweet, sour, spicy fragrance dedicated to rose and some berry notes but I can't really appreciate the combination of it because in my opinion it's not it's not interesting it's just a, another boring sour sweet sour fragrance so 
Let's move to the fragrances that I really liked. And one of them is the new Chloe de Parfum Naturel. The notes listed here are in the top notes citron and blackcurrant, in the middle rose and neroli and in the base mimosa and cedar. The nose behind this fragrance is a very famous Maître Parfumeur, Michel Almerac. Um, it is very fresh. It has a very fresh scent of organic rose. It has this organic natural undertone going on here. It is really very close to nature. It doesn't, it doesn't smell any grass or something like this. Don't be afraid of this. In my opinion, it is a very elegant, very smooth, well-balanced fragrance, ageless, young girls and mature women can wear it. It has something in the, from this typical uh, the toilette uh, fragrances from the house of L'Occitane, but although it is a very light and delicate fragrance, the longevity was quite nice. I tested this one many times. It has this green sparkling aspects in it. Of course this is a fragrance for coming spring and summer. It's not a very typical, it's not a typical fragrance for autumn or winter, but I was just captured by, by the mood that this fragrance projects. You just want to smile in this one. It makes you happy. It makes you carefree, just a very, very delicate, natural, this, this, this organic kind of undertone going on here. I was captured by this one. I was in love uh, by Chloe de Eau de Parfum Naturel. Another fragrance that I quite like, although it's not the this year's launch, it was released in 2020. And this is perfect by Marc Jacobs. I show you the beautiful bottle of this um, fragrance. I didn't, I didn't uh, notice this fragrance last year. Um, it didn't, it didn't catch my eyesight for some reason. I tested this a couple of weeks ago and I thought, oh my god, why I missed this one last year. The notes listed here are bright daffodil, juicy rhubarb, soft cashmere and, and comforting almond milk. This is the fragrance of good mood, of happiness, of youthful days, of, of being happy. It has berry, fruity, sour um, touch in it. But it's not, it's not trivial, it's not boring, it has something in it, it is very special and it has this special creaminess in it because of the almond milk. It is a very special fragrance. I fell in love with this one and not only the juice is exceptional, happy and, and, and bright and delightful, also the bottle. It is so special. It has different, different charms in it and also a white kitty cat. I'm going to put a picture where you can detect a white kitty cat on the cup of this fragrance. It's just amazing. So I am completely dedicated to white kitty cats. White kitty cats have a special meaning to me so I have to have this bottle. and. Um, when I get it, I'm going to show you, I'm going to share with you my opinion about the juice of the bottle and the bottle itself. And this year, uh, another flanker of, the, of this one was released, Perfect Intense by Marc Jacobs. The notes listed in the Perfect Intense are quite different to the original one. Unfortunately, I didn't try it yet. In my town where I live, in the city of Bonn, this fragrance wasn't uh, present yet. But I hope I'm going to 
test it soon if you already tried it please share your opinion with me i'm really really interested and on the bottle of the perfect intense there's also a white kitty cat on the cap of the bottle so i'm very very intrigued and interested by this one and the last fragrance that i would like to talk about is the earlier uh, release of 2021 Easy à la nuit by the house of Sisley. I tried this one in the spring uh, when all the shops in my uh, city opened again after the lockdown and this fragrance didn't impress me at all and I thought why why is this hype going on with the Sisley, uh, Sisley la nuit but then a couple of weeks ago I tried it again and I actually I fell in love with this one. It has such an elegant rose. The notes listed here uh, are quite different to the original Easier by the House of Sisley. It is a fragrance dedicated to rose but um, there is also a note of black currant that is quite prominent here and gives to this fragrance a special twist. It makes it very, very interesting. So it is a very elegant, very uh, mature fragrance. I wouldn't say that this fragrance uh, uh, will suit to a young lady. So this is quite um, a fragrance for, you know, for some formal occasions or for some um, you know evenings for going out I just couldn't resist and the result of it is I bought the bottle of Easy à la nuit I'm not going to open it right now I'm going to share with you my impressions in another video and I'm going to compare Easy à la nuit with the original Easier but you know, I bought the bottle, that means that this fragrance is something special and is worth being in my fragrance collection. Okay, these were the fragrances that I tried recently and I wanted to share my first impressions with you. If you try them, please share your opinion about these fragrances. Please support me with your likes and comments. Thank you very much and see you soon in the next video. Bye bye.